wouldn't have been any issues anyway for Bobby is simply his rap name whereas his real name is actually Akil Jean Pollard or however you pronounce Jean I don't know I'll never understand why rappers completely change their name to another common name without any sort of relation to the former but hey Bobby definitely rolls off the tongue way better than Akil if I do say myself my sugar mama says so too. But aside from the irrelevant biographic information, although it is quite interesting in itself, to summarize his career, Bobby is essentially known foremost for a viral meme, if that's even what we want to call it, back in the day when he became famous, in which he threw his hat into the air in one of his hit music videos called Hot Boy, and it never came down. By the way, Hot Boy is not its official name, it's simply the radio title. For the original title, I do not have the rights of saying in society. But as I was saying, fans jokingly speculated the hat blasted off the entire planet and at this point in time is passing Pluto among many other extravagant spin-offs. But either way, this meme wasn't the only reason the music video blew up, for the song was quite literally a hood classic and even crossed over into the mainstream, one of the first of its kind. More specifically, Hot Boy was officially released on July 25th, 2014 over a whopping six years ago and peaked at number six on the Billboard Hot 100, in turn launching Bobby Shmurda into superstardom, even creating a new dance move in the process called the Shmoney Dance. I'd like to see Addison Ray try to pull that off on this but anyway after experiencing a mega hit such as hot boy and later on an almost equally popular bobby Bruh. song ultimately solidifying his name in the rap game considering his rap name was literally in the title and chorus of that song bobby Schmurda followed up the singles with his debut ep Schmurda she wrote distributed via epic records in fact there is another iconic video in addition to the aforementioned music video in which bobby Schmurda performs a mini concert in the epic records meeting room for his debut single hot boy in accordance with the shmoney dance. However, what many fans don't realize is that Bobby Shmurda was actually arrested before any of the singles released, and thus also the EP, on June 3rd, 2014, charged with felony criminal possession of a weapon, although he was released shortly after with a $10,000 bond, but less than six months later, would he be sentenced seven years that would change his life forever. Many rappers in the game right now claim to be in some sort of gang, and while that very well may be true, Bobby Shmurda was really living that life, and he's got the criminal track record to prove it, unlike said rappers. He even repped the exact acronym of his gang in his lyrics on the previously mentioned hit single, Hot Boy, explicitly rapping, GS9 I Go So Hard, wherein if you didn't catch Bobby's drift, GS9 is his gang, which stands for, according to police, Grimy Shooters, Gun Squad, or G-Stone Crips. On the other hand though, if if you asked Bobby during his multiple trials what that meant, he would simply claim GS9 was his music group or label as it was technically his label imprint. Nonetheless, this didn't necessarily help his case because it didn't really matter what they called themselves, for police were already tailing his group long before he even released music since GS9 was an alleged criminal organization that according to case documents Bobby Shmurda or Akil acted as leader of and was proven legally to be responsible for countless criminal activities such as gang wars with other groups in New York, where Bobby was located in the more recent years of his life, as well as public shootings, murder, drug trafficking, and the like. Not to mention, individual members of GS9 already had insane lists of crime records, such as Santino Broderick, who was sentenced to 117 years in prison at minimum. But the craziest part is that Cardi probably won't even drop until they get out. But as I was saying, little did most people know, Bobby Shmurda was actually not the only rapper slash music artist in the GS9 gang, for there was another popular rapper in the streets of New York named Rowdy Rebel, who was also enlisted in a hefty sentence with the same series of charges as Bobby. In fact, Rowdy Rebel was actually being tried for longer with a 12 year sentence, wherein they both could have easily shortened their sentences had they cooperated with the federal government and snitched on their fellow gang members. Members, but they elected to plead guilty and not cooperate with the feds. Hence the reason why Bobby Shmurda is so highly regarded in the streets as opposed to 6 9 who chose the opposite path of snitching on his homies to lighten the sentence. As a result, Bobby Shmurda was sentenced with 7 years total on Rikers Island minus 2 years already served as he wasn't even sentenced until mid-2016 after being arrested in 2014.
Bobby Shmurda's darkest moment all began in 2013 when he still went by the nickname Chewy. He was on his way to his friend Pluto's house, a drug dealer at the time, and as he was about to open the front door, two people abruptly approached him, holding him at gunpoint, a not too uncommon occurrence in Flatbush, New York. The two ops wanted to know where Pluto lived, not realizing they were already in front of his house, but unfortunately, Pluto heard all the commotion and opened the door and was shot instantly by the two people holding Bobby at gunpoint. The two killers then turned the gun towards Bobby Shmurda and asked where the stash was, which Bobby had no idea apparently, but they ransacked Pluto's home anyway and found everything. Afterwards, in an interview, Bobby claimed that this was the very moment that served as the inspiration of becoming a rapper, for he was, quote, alive for a reason. And obviously, this new aspiration of Bobby's was long exceeded. For his short time in the game, he was one of the biggest. But prior to the seemingly overnight success, Bobby Schmurder didn't experience a smooth ride to the top, for he was arrested and charged on multiple occasions for possession of firearms, possession of illegal substances, and other commonalities within the GS9 gang. But in regards to the firearm possession, which is a felony offense by the way. Fans who followed Bobby's case believe this to be a very controversial charge due to the fact that he was charged on the count of owning and using the weapon without any DNA evidence to prove it. Therefore arose a massive conspiracy within his fan base that he was actually set up by the cops. For not only was this fishy but cops were also present at almost every single show Bobby Shmurda was paid to perform ready and waiting with warrants to search him mostly for drugs which they always found allegedly even though it would only be logical for high profile figures such as Bobby to leave the contraband at home knowing they were going to be searched upon arrival at every venue. And finally, ending Bobby Shmurda's professional career as a rapper, at least until very soon, when he could potentially be released as we'll get into later. On December 17th, 2014, Bobby Shmurda was arrested along with every other member of GS9 including extensive charges that Bobby was wrapped up in through the RICO Act, which stands for the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, essentially allowing the government to arrest leaders or members of a criminal organization proven to be executed by that same organization. The government utilizes this act of legislation in order to convict the higher-ups of these organizations to scare them with large sentences and likely strike an easy plea deal, or better yet, convince the leader to cooperate and thus take down everyone in the organization in exchange for a shorter sentence of that leader. For instance, as we mentioned before, 6-9, but again, he cooperated to get out early unlike the rest of Treyway. However, Bobby Schmurter kept it as real as it gets and received the following charges. One count of conspiracy to murder to the second degree, three counts of conspiracy to murder to the fourth degree, one count of reckless endangerment to the second degree, two counts of criminal possession of a weapon to the second degree, and one count of criminally using drug paraphernalia to the second degree. Mind you, these are only his charges. The rest of the gang had their separate trials, but fortunately, he was charged with the least amount of offenses since little evidence could technically be pinned on him directly. They were also being investigated for dealing crack cocaine, another large offense fence in itself. Maybe Bobby shouldn't have been so real in his raps literally stating, I've been selling crack since like the fifth grade. Either way though, Bobby Schmurda's seven year sentence, potentially shortened for good behavior, is almost up as he was expected to be out by this December in 2020. However, now there are reports that his trial is actually being held today as I record this video on August 14th. <laughs> On September 2nd, 2016, as part of a plea deal, Schmurda pleaded guilty to one count of a third degree conspiracy and one count of weapons possession, as aforementioned, ultimately sentenced to seven years in prison. However, he was given credit for two years served, leaving five years left on his sentence, followed by five years of probation post-release. But with good behavior, Schmurda is expected to be released sometime very soon for an account in three and a half years, as he apparently has a parole hearing scheduled for today discussing his conditional release this month. And obviously the widespread hip hop community is going wild over the king of New York potentially returning for 6 9 isn't the most popular rapper around, at least in the sense of representing the street's current values. Otherwise, we really don't know much else about Bobby's return as he was honestly locked up before social media was as big as it has become today, so likely he won't even be tweeting the first chance he gets as many rappers do nowadays. But hopefully, we can still get a first day out freestyle from the legend himself because we literally been almost waiting a whole decade for his music. So with that, it's your boy Bobby Lamb signing off, ready to hand Bobby Schmurda the crown for realest Bobby on this planet. I don't know if I can serve it justice anymore with his criminal history. Let me know in the comments if you think Bobby will be free as soon as this month, and if you'll think he'll be as big of a rapper as he was before he was locked up. Make sure to like and subscribe while you're at it for the latest hip-hop news, 